The Olympics, a worldwide competition showing off the best of the best in sports. The Berlin 1936 Olympics, a worldwide competition showing off the best of the best of diversity. These Olympics are one of the greatest feats against the Nazi regime. There were World Cup athletes of multiple ethnicities competing in events, proving a point against racism and defying the beliefs of Nazism. Adolf Hitler wanted to use these Olympics as a propaganda machine to the world. He wanted to show how his country as well as his beliefs were superior. His plan to show off his beliefs failed when Jesse Owens and so many other diverse athletes took the stage at the Berlin 1936 Olympics. The Olympics have always been a big part of our culture in the modern day. The games are a worldwide celebration of our many talents and skills, allowing us to display these skills to the world. Today, we are looking back at perhaps one of the most important Olympic Games in history, the 1936 Berlin Olympics. But to understand them, we first need to understand Hitler and the Holocaust. First of all, who was Hitler? Adolf Hitler was Germany's leader from 1933 to 1945. According to Biography.com, quote, During his dictatorship, Hitler initiated military policies that led to World War II and the deaths of at least 11 million people, including the genocide of an estimated 6 million Jews, end quote. The Nazis didn't only target Jews, however. Everyone who they didn't find fit was targeted. This included gypsies, who like the Jews were different, as well as the elderly and disabled people, because they were unable to perform at the level that Hitler believed was necessary. The Nazis targeted people who went against them in any way. Czechs had killed one of the Nazi um, big shots, and so the, the Nazis came in the town, put everybody in a church, and then set fire to the church and killed everybody in the town. It was sad. Let's start at the beginning for these games. On May 13, 1931, the International Olympic Committee, or IOC, announced that the 1936 Games would be taking place in Berlin. Right from the start, there was some debate on whether this was a good choice. Hitler had been elected the Chancellor of Germany in January of 1933, so his ideals has been known for a while. Quote, After the Nazi seizure of power in Germany in 1933, comma, the United States and other Western democracies began to question the morality of supporting the Olympic Games hosted by the regime. End quote. United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. The Berlin Olympics took place in summer 1936, almost 83 years ago. Hitler believed the Olympics were an opportunity to display the eminence of the Aryan race. Hitler also had almost three times as many athletes at the Olympics than any other team. He wanted to show that the Aryan race was the best in doing so. The United States of America started a movement to boycott the Berlin Games. The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum states, quote, Supporters of the boycott believed that participating in the games would represent an endorsement of Hitler's Reich, end quote. However, this boycott ultimately failed, leading the U.S. to have a team in the games. This is when we have the United States show up with one of the most diverse teams for the Olympics at the time. One such person that displayed this diversity on the team was an African-American man named Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens was a college student and the fastest man in the world. He just had to prove it at the Olympics. This American victory disproved the Nazi ideals. As the Olympic rulebook states, the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part. Just as the most important thing in life is not the triumph, but the struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. The Americans did just that. They took part in the Games and fought well. In doing this, they were able to show that the beliefs of the Nazi regime aren't necessarily true. These Olympic Games were a triumph by displaying the many talents and skills of a wide range of people and cultures. The Games changed the way people view others who are different. It showed us that no matter what we look like, we all have talents. 